dealing with shoulder injuries. Uh, my name is Ramon Enriquez. Uh, my group members are Garcia Salazar and Jose Flores. Uh, my project was on, my part of the presentation was on the shoulder impingement. Shoulder impingement. Uh, the shoulder is made up of three bones, the humerus, the scapula, and the clavicle. The shoulder joint forms where the humerus, which is the upper bone, fits the scapula, the uh, shoulder blade, like a ball and socket. The acromion is the bony projection off the scapula, and the clavicle bone meets the acromion in the acromial clavicle joint. What shoulder impingement is, sh uh, syndrome, or it's also known as storage shoulder, uh, it's a cause of shoulder pain where there is impingement of tendons or the bursa in the shoulder from the bones. This is also known as subacromial impingement syndrome because of the tendons, ligaments, and bursa under the acromion. The rotator cuff tendon and bursa sit beneath the acromion, and impingement can occur when compression and microtrauma harm the tendons. Diagnosis. The typical symptoms of impingement syndrome include difficulty reaching behind the back, uh, with overhead use of the arm and weakness of the shoulder muscles. If tendons are injured for a long period of time, the tendon can actually tear, resulting in a rotator cuff injury. Uh, some of the rehab you can do for this uh, injury uh, starts with blade squeezes, where you squeeze uh, the middle of your back, and your shoulder blades together. Do this about three times a week, three times a day. Uh, the next one will be shoulder rotations, just to strengthen the shoulder, bring it back up to speed. And the next one will be pec stretching which is grabbing the good side of the door and just stretching to fully get that uh, exposure from the shoulder. And other exercises you can also do is with bands just to, I mean, offer some sort of resistance. See if you can strengthen it little by little. Next. Um, my part of the presentation was on slap tears, superior labral tear from anterior to posterior. Uh, what is a slap tear? A slap tear is an injury that happens to the labrum of the shoulder. This refers to a tear in the cartilage of the joint that protects it from the socket. Uh, this is caused by repeated overhead motions like pitching in baseball, overhead serves in volleyball and tennis. Swimming can also be, in swimming you can also find this injury and in weightlifting. The anatomy of a slap tear, as mentioned before, a slap tear is a tear to the labrum. Uh, the anatomy of this is the head of the humerus bone fits into the socket called the glenoid. And this socket around the edge is where you will find the labrum. Its purpose there is to deepen the socket and help the joint stabilize. Another, another thing it serves for is the labrum also serves as, a, as an anchor point for the bicep tendon that goes up the arm. Uh, some symptoms of slap tear, tear can be shoulder fatigue, popping and grinding feeling in the shoulder, trouble lifting your arm over your head, decrease in the range of motion, and decrease in velocity in which the arm moves. Also, some of the symptoms are usually not present in most baseball players. Most of the time they won't feel it or they won't know that there's a slap tear in their shoulder and they'll keep pitching and eventually this tear is known as a uh, pitcher's depth because most of the time they can't come back from it and they won't have the same velocity in their pitches. Uh, the diagnosis of the slap tear, it's usually done when a doctor tests your range of motion to see if anything's popping or grinding in your shoulder. And once he diagnoses that, he'll send you off to get x-rays done where you'll see where the, so the slap tear happens on the shoulder. The treatment of the injury, there's two ways to treat this injury either by arthroscopy surgery or by physical therapy. Uh, physical therapy will last around six months, while the sur surgery will last around the same time, plus a couple of more weeks to recover right after the surgery. Uh, for the rehab purposes, what you can do is uh, a horizontal abduction with your shoulder. You will lay down on a therapy bed and you'll lift maybe like the two, two and a half pound to five pound uh, dumbbell and you lift it up and bring it back down. All the while, we'll lift, try and lift your shoulder and then you lift the weight up. Also, another rehab exercise that you can do is uh, you get a ball, say a tennis ball or a baseball, and you place it against the wall and you start doing little circles around till 
you you're tired and then you'll just put it down and that way you can strengthen the shoulder the muscles in your shoulders and these are some pictures this is where the sleft tear happens the, this is the labrum and it once it tears you'll see that this starts rubbing into each other you'll see it right here this is the normal labrum the torn one and then once they fix it over here and this is a cross section of the injury You'll see here where the slap tear happens. My name is Jose Flores, and I'm doing the bicep tendon tear at the shoulder. The anatomy of it is the upper end of the bicep muscle has two tendons that attach it to the bones in the shoulder. The long head attaches to the top of the shoulder socket, the glenoid. The short head attaches to the bone on the shoulder blade called the corsoid process. There are two types of tears. Bicep tendon tears can be either partial or complete. A complete tear of the long head is an attachment point in the glenoid. Partial tears, many tears do not completely se severe the, the tendon, and complete tears, a complete tear will split the tendon into two pieces. Symptoms can be sudden sharp pain in the upper arm, sometimes an audible pop or snap, cramping of the bicep muscle with strenuous use of the arm, bruising from the middle of the upper arm out toward the elbow, pain or tenderness at the shoulder and elbow, weakness in the shoulder and, and elbow, difficult turning the arm, the arm palm up or palm down. Because the torn tendon can no longer keep the bicep muscles tight, a bulge in the upper arm above the elbow may appear with a dent closer to the shoulder. Causes for injuries. There are two main types of bicep tendon tears, injury and overuse. If you fall hard on an outstretched arm or lift something too heavy, you can tear your bicep tendon. Many tears are the result of wearing down and fraying of the tendon that occurs slowly over time. This naturally occurs as we age, it can be worsened by overuse, repeating the same shoulder motions over and over again. Overuse can cause a range of shoulder problems, including tendonitis, shoulder impingement, and rotator cuff injuries. Having any of these conditions puts more stress on the bicep tendon, making it more likely to weaken or tear. Risk factors, your risk for tendon tear increases with age. Older people have to put more years of wear and tear on their tendons than younger people. Overhead, heavy overhead activities, too much load during weightlifting is a prime example of risk, but many jobs require heavy overhead lifting and put excess wear and tear on the tendons. Shoulder overuse, repetitive overhead sports, such as swimming or tennis can cause more tendon wear and tear. Treatment, non-surgical treatment for many people Pain from a long head of the bicep tendon tear resolves over, resolves over time. Mild arm weakness or arm deformity may not bother some patients such as older and less active people. Um, ice cold therapy packs for 20 minutes at a time, several times a day to keep down the swelling. Do not apply ice directly to the skin. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, drugs like ibuprofen, aspirin, or naproxen reduce pain and swelling. Rest, avoid heavy lifting and overhead activities to relieve pain and limit swelling. Your doctor may recommend using a sling or a brief, for a brief time. Or you can also do fle flexible uh, physical therapy, flexibility and strengthening exercises will restore movement and strengthen your shoulder. That's it guys.